Hello snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host Averin Lefebvre and in this video we're going to be reviewing the Rosinal Jibsaw Elite. That's right, the big brother to the regular Jibsaw. Let's get right into it. This board features Rosinal's Amptech Elite camber profile so you got a 60% camber section through the middle and 20% rocker in the nose and 20% rocker in the tail. So it is cam rocker, but you're going to have that load of traditional camber underfoot with that looser play out in the tip and the tail. This board is available in 153, 155, 157, 158 wide, 162 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day with colder temps. There was chunder snow, icy snow, fresh corduroy, perfectly groomed parks, and zero wind, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label Bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. So it is slightly above a middle of the road park flex, and it's pretty much what you would expect. Slightly softer tips, right when it hits that camber zone, it stiffens all the way up through the middle with just a little bit of torsional flex. Now this board is super stable. You do not have to worry about getting bucked around. It will push through everything in its path. You get a little bit of micro chatter out in the nose, but it never really resonates back underfoot. So that just adds to the stableness of this board. Now, while it is stable, it's not damp and dead. It's actually still very lively. So if you like a board that's very reactive, this is a good option to be looking at. This board has snap, and the more load you put into that camber section, the more rebound you're going to get out of it. So what's nice is you have an ever so slight skate style pop to it just where that camber zone meets the rocker. It just creates a flex point that like springboards you into the air, but all that load is coming out from directly underfoot in that camber section. So you want to ollie off a roller, load it up and pop. Hitting a side hit, want to boost, load it up and pop. Want to use that fat skier family as a launch ramp? Load it up and pop. It's basically just like that. It's not a lazy board where you can be last minute like, oh, I'm going to spring. It's like, you got to be a little more calculated, but you're going to get pop. Now, when it comes to jumps, this is where this board is fully at home. It's got that flex from small, medium, or large, or extra large features if you want to. It's going to pop off that lip. It's going to boost. It's going to set down in the landing and just ride away very smoothly. This is a board that's fully at home in the air. Can this board butter? Yes. Are you going to work for it? Definitely. What's nice is you do have rocker in the nose and the tail. So you want to get out in that sweet spot and really leverage your weight out over it and push into it. The board's going to be reactive. You're going to feel it want to rebound into you. So be prepared for a little bit of fight. The same can be said with jibbing. You're going to need a little bit more speed and you're going to have to muscle it a little harder to lock into a tail press, lock into a nose press. And when you get sideways, the board really doesn't hug around the feature. It more or less just balances on it like a teeter-totter. There's a little bit of bend to it. So don't expect this board to just clap out under you. It's going to be very stable and just feel very locked in. And as I said, speed is the key with jibbing on this board as well as muscling it. What's nice about this board is it has Rosinald's serrated seven edge, which gives seven added contact points. Think magnet traction. That's what it is. So it locks in on edge. It holds an edge very well. And just due to the flex of it, it'll stay on edge and plow through everything in its path. It's nimble edge to edge. You'll notice that you can transition smoothly from toe to heel without any effort. Can you rail a deep, hard, aggressive carve? Yes. Is it going to be a board that you can fully Euro carve with all the time? No, it has limitations. It's a high-end twin park board. What did you expect that it was gonna have? I will say this, when I got it in the mini pipe at Copper, it actually holds a very exceptional edge going up that transition. You just feel locked in, which was nice because as anyone that's ever ridden half pipe knows, you wanna maintain your speed and your edge control through the flat bottom and this board really does feel locked in for that. Who's this board for? The high-end freestyle rider, someone that's just sending it and wants something a little bit beefier. I like the fact that they actually made this a little bit softer. It's a little more approachable for people. It's still a beefy board and you still have to kind of manhandle it at times, but it's more approachable. You don't feel like it's riding you the whole time compared to like their juggernaut, which is just a board that wants to kill you. It was good. It locks in on edge. It's just, it's a solid, well-rounded high-end freestyle twin. I just can't say that enough. 
Comparable boards. The Ride Helix. The Jones Mountain Twin. The Endeavor Live. This has been my review of the Rosnell Jibsaw Elite. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications, that way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really want to support us and just see us grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.